So our other big story at five, that ballot blunder in Clackamas County. Yes, we are still talking about thousands of outstanding ballots with blurry barcodes and have some big questions tonight about progress. County employees have been reassigned to help elections workers sort through all those ballots by hand. Our Mike Benner joins us now with continuing coverage of his story, including Mike, some new information just into the newsroom. Yeah, Laurel, we just heard from State Representative Janelle Bynum. She's a Democrat out of Clackamas. Bynum is calling for a legislative inquiry to be opened into what she calls inaction by Clackamas County Clerk Sherry Hall. I spent some time at the Clackamas County Elections Building today, and I can tell you Hall appeared to be stressed and frustrated by our presence. And that's rather bizarre because what's happening in Clackamas County today and in the days ahead, as you're about to see, is a process open to the public. My vote is important to me. I don't trust it anymore. Tina Olson is spending her Thursday at Clackamas County Elections, watching a room full of people process ballots. It's sad that we have to come down there every single cycle. Olson is concerned about the thousands of bad ballots distributed to Clackamas County voters. The ballots were printed with barcodes that were either too light or too blurry, making it difficult, if not impossible, for elections machines to read. This is a drastic mistake. We understand the frustration. Clackamas County spokesperson Kimberly Dinwiddie says hundreds of county employees have been reassigned to fix the problem. They're teaming up with elections workers to process the ballots by hand. We're told up to 80 people can do this at a time. But first, their date of birth and party affiliation need to be verified in the voter registration database. Then people of opposite parties need to be paired up. It's not as simple as names on a spreadsheet. It's a process that takes a bit of time, and so we're still filling the schedule. All right, so due to this ballot snafu, the county has had to come up with some special accommodations. This room here in the coming days will serve as an overflow ballot processing area. You'll notice over here some tents outside. These tents are for people uh, from the community who want to observe. They'll be able to stay dry. And of course, there are some added security. So there are some new cameras in this hallway here, keeping an eye on everything. We understand people want results and they want things done right. Tina Olson sure does. The Wilsonville resident pledges to observe the process every single day until the job is complete. My vote counts. All right, there's no timeline for when this whole thing will be wrapped up, but later this evening we should get an update on how many ballots have been processed up to this point. We can tell you all of them have to be processed and this election certified no later than June 13th.